Right, today we are going to stretch these leather gloves. I bought these last year. They are waterproof winter gloves, but I find the fingers are they're a little bit too tight. So I need to be able to stretch the fingers because at the moment they're that tight I can't actually bend my fingers on the levers. But they're nice gloves and it's a shame to waste them. So what we're doing, we're soaking them in hot water, leaving them in there for about 10 minutes to soften the leather. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to wring them out, get most of the water out. So that what we're going to need is a bucket, some little plastic bags, newspaper, a towel and a coffee. Let's wring these out. Okay, that's that one done. Now I've already started one, so the reason I'm using the plastic bags is you don't want to be putting newspaper into a wet glove. Newspaper gets wet then you'll never get it out and all the paper will probably dissolve into the material so it'll be in a white mess so on this one I've put the bag so far in the thumb and I've started stuffing it with newspaper and all you do is you just push the paper in as hard as you can and then when that dries that leather should be stretched so let's do a bit more Come up with an idea, use an implementation to push it down, because I'm pushing that hard in there now, it's hurting my finger. That's why we have these hack videos, so we'll, all these little tips get passed on. So there we go, that's one glove stuffed. So as you can see now all the fingers are nice and fat so hopefully when that dries that'll be big enough to get more sausage fingers in. And it's a lot harder than you think. The easiest part is doing the thumb. What you find is, is when you're trying to get further down here it's hard to get your hand inside to push. The wooden spoon. Right that's glove number one. And let's go and get some more newspaper. Well, we had no newspaper, so we've had to get a magazine, and you never guess what. She's not our baby. Peter reveals as Toya hands Susie back to Eva. Oh, June 2018. We're now in October 2019. Never mind, move on. I'm going to start with this finger first, the hardest one, because I think on this glove when I packed out this thumb here I couldn't get past it so we'll start with the hardest first good thinking Mavrico good thinking you're not just a pretty face it's amazing on these little tutorial videos because obviously you're trying to concentrate and you're probably breathing heavy and snorting talk a lot of rubbish have long pauses between your talking because you're trying to think and at the minute I'm struggling with that one get in well that's one big old sausage finger could pick my nose with that and this is why we make these videos so you at home don't have a broken finger like I've now got all right I'm going to speed this up because I am just now talking and waffling more and more rubbish and someone's bound to give me a thumbs down for it. Oh, you could have done that in two minutes. The video's too long. But you don't get to hear me then, do you? Right, go fast. Right, so there we go. Both gloves are stuffed. So the method I found, what was easier, was these are the two hardest fingers to stuff. So stuff those, leave that one last and the thumb to the very end. Stuff the palms out. Those are now padded, the fingers look nice and stretched. So all we've got to do now is obviously upside down. I'm going to put those in the conservatory to dry above the bucket, give it a couple of days and we'll come back 
and see if they fit. Boom shaka! So we've taken all the newspaper out the inside. The outside of the leather's dry. I'm just putting them on this little electric radiator just to dry the lining, obviously, because this is on the inside. It stops the inside from drying properly, but the leather's done. So let that dry and then we'll try them on. So here we go. We've let the gloves dry for 24 hours. All the newspapers out. So let's try them on. Let's see what it's like. Oh wow. That has worked perfectly. Let me try this one. Right, I can only feel a bit of resistance in this finger. So this one might need doing again. Still feels a bit tight. So I think what it is, all the armour, I'm having trouble bending. So, well, you can see there actually, as if I'm pulling the clutch lever, that one has got quite some resistance. That one is perfect. Before I couldn't pull the front brake. I'm well surprised how that's worked. I'll tell you what, they fit like a glove. So, previously in the pudding, it does work. Obviously this one I must not have packed out enough, so I need to redo this finger. But apart from that, they feel amazing. So there you go, that's how you stretch leather gloves.